Hello and welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have a very interesting problem with a degree of 5. So this polynomial is called a quintic polynomial and we're going to solve for the real solutions. So maybe pause the video, give it a go and let me know how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So let's get started. We're going to bring all the terms to one side. So we have x to the power 5 minus x to the power 4 minus 13 x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2, change the sign, plus 12x is equal to 0. And we're going to split the 13 into a 12 and a 1. It's the coefficient of the x cubed. And we will have x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 4 minus 12 x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus 12x is equal to 0. We're going to factor out x across the board. So our new expression will be x. Open your parentheses and we will get negative x to the power of 4, negative 12 to the power of 2, negative x to the power of 2, plus x plus 12. We're going to rearrange terms in a specific order. So we're going to get x, then we have x to the power of 4, we will place the minus x squared alongside. Again now we're going to go with the x to the power of 3 and the plus x alongside and again we will go with the negative x squared plus the 12 alongside, all with a difference of x to the power of 2. We can factor out for each pair x squared minus 1. And for the first two, we will get x squared by x squared minus 1 in the parentheses. Again, minus x by x squared minus 1 and minus 12 by x squared minus 1. So we have a common factor for all of these. So now we can simplify it even further and we can write x and we can create group all terms together with x squared minus x minus 12 all by the common factor x squared minus 1. Now we factored out x minus 4 and x plus 3 from x squared minus x minus 12, as they are the two factors of the trinomial. So in this position, we have the information required to solve for x. So for the first x, x could be equal to 0. So we have that already. So therefore, x is equal to 0. For the x minus 4, if we set that to 0, then x is equal to positive 4. For the positive 3, x plus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 3. And for the x squared minus 1, we're going to bring across the 1 we will get x squared is equal to 1. Square root both sides. We get x is equal to the square root of 1. And remember that can be positive or negative. So we have a full set of solutions. And we can state that the solutions to the quintic are x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to negative 3, and x is equal to 4. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you again soon on the next video.